Morning from Preston New Road. Oh, what a distressing start it was, you know. Um, we're here today, as always, because of this fracking site across the road that's being developed. But another reason we were coming today, um, particularly, was that um, one of the actions today is the leader, one of the co-leaders of the Green Party, Jonathan Bartley, is coming at, uh, to speak at 10.45, and then he's going off to deliver a letter to Quadrilla. So we agreed to help Anne, who's 85 and a half, as she likes to point out, and... Uh, and wanted some help with this banner. So my sister and I um, got in the car, helped put her poles to do with the banner. You see they're quite short, like, like mop poles. And put it all in the back of the boot. We got about halfway up the road. Halfway up the road, we were pulled aside. Well, a police vehicle, a van, pulled up alongside us. And while it pulled up alongside us, the doors were open. Six cops jumped out, surrounded the car, obviously making a stop. And all because um, they thought the poles would be tripods. It was very dramatic and quite unsettling in the middle of a main road to be pulled over in that way, you know. So um, it meant poor Anne too. Um, we try to avoid making her walk up the hill too often. And so she had to walk up the hill and I had to carry the banner um, because they were holding our progress. And they said, oh, well, you can go in a minute, but we're just in the middle of um, seeing a truck through. You know, so I know it's a little thing. I mean, it's not as bad as what happened to Nick today. Nick in the wheelchair just down there um, was in the way and they asked him to move, but in an impolite way. And he said, go on, just be polite, just say please. And then they just manhandled him. But then when they manhandled him, they used pressure points against him. This is a young man in a wheelchair and they saw fit to do that. It's just astounding. I, I'm, I know I use that word a lot, but... I am astounded. It's like yesterday, they turned up with bloody police dogs, as if we warrant that. At no point has anyone ever been harmed by us. We slow down the progress of trucks. That's what we do. We don't harm humans. So why would we warrant police dogs? And how scary is that for us? You know, this is all done as a deterrent to keep us off the road. And that's so unfair. We're brave as we can get, but that's just too much, you know? You see these dogs with muzzles on, and they look vicious. And you look at the security handling them, and they look incompetent. So vicious dog combined with incompetent security guard equals absolute bloody fear for us. You know, so yay, yeah, well done this lot. They managed to scare the shit out of us, as always. So I hope they feel fucking good about it. Good morning. Good morning. Just be careful of the traffic behind you. It's well, God damn it, how the fuck did I... Sorry, I'm really tense. So we have new security on site. I'm going to go and see them. And uh, 